Hey everyone, it's Father Brandon. Uh, today is Thursday, and I think this year um, I'm going to try to send out a Thursday morning message um, with just kind of a, a review of the past week, and then also some announcements for the upcoming days. Just as another way to get the word out of what's happening here at our parish and school, and uh, you can post any questions or comments, and I can try to address those. We'll just try to do that regularly every Thursday as a way of continuing to communicate um, all the good things happening here at Holy Spirit Parish and Marquette School. Um, so, real quick, uh, just looking back, um, the big thing this week is school is up and going. Um, I'm so grateful for um, the fact that we have all of our students here, uh, here at Marquette. We've added our seventh grade. This is the first time in 30 years we've had a seventh grade. Um, we've been able to split into two sections with our third grade students. Um, we've got new teachers, Miss uh, um, Mel and then Mrs. Johnson. Uh, we also have our three Teach for Christ ladies here. Um, we've got a new gym teacher. Uh, and we've got so many, so many good things happening. And Lisa Kavas, our principal, is leading the charge in such a beautiful way. Um, calm, organized, uh, committed with some vision and working so well with our teachers and our school board and our families. So um, things have gone super smooth. We were a little nervous about um, drop-offs and pickups, but those things have been unbelievable. Um, it has gone very, very well. Always some little, you know, maybe a little bumps in the road, but generally things have gone awesome. Our kids are just, they jump right in. Um, you see the kids just, just they're, they're childlike as you, as you expect them to be. Like, although things are different, they just embrace it and they trust and they, they live together in a sense of community and support and the joy that they have is awesome. Um, we, had our, we had mass this morning with our older, our fourth through seventh grade students um, and just so good to have them there praying together. It's so good for those kids to be in that environment um, that they have an opportunity to pray and think about faith um, and not be just consumed with all the chaos of the world. Because I think lots of them over these last six months have just been hearing about it all the time and living in just kind of some tension and some fear. And for them to be in a place that's, that's holy and happy and calm um, is a great gift to our students and their psyche and their souls and, and who they are. So um, again, welcome back to Marquette School. Uh, and uh, we're so grateful for the families that have chosen to use the gift of our Marquette School this year. And uh, hopefully it will continue to grow and continue to move forward with hope and confidence. So again, I'm so grateful for that. Um, here at the parish, there you know the school starts that ends up picking up a little more buzz, a little more action. There's people around here. I I know I feel more joyful, and I sense that around here a little bit more. Um, with that comes kind of uh, a little more action, which which takes puts a little more pressure on uh, in some ways. But but the Lord is just doing some phenomenal things, and I'm so grateful for the way He's working. Um, another just a couple of some announcements now. Uh, first thing is super important. We're going to go back to our regular weekend mass schedule starting this weekend. All right, so we'll have our 4.30 Mass on Saturday nights. And then Sunday, 8 and 10 a.m. Mass, okay? We're removing that 7 p.m. Mass. We did that through the summer. And now we're going to go back this fall to the 8 a.m. and the 10 a.m. Mass. So help me get that word out, okay? Very, very important again. Um, so pass the word, um, 8 and 10 a.m. Mass this Sunday, okay? Uh, back to our regular scheduled program. Please come back and join us. If you've got a health condition and you're at home and being protected, I totally get that. Um, but if that's not the case... Get back to Mass. That's so important. Get back to confession and come to Mass and uh, just receive the God's goodness and mercy um, and celebrate uh, the gift of the Eucharist and, and being in community. Um, I, I, that's what integrates us, our, is that regular reception of the Eucharist and joining together in community. Um, so pray about that. And if you've been away, please join us again um, this weekend and come on back. You're always welcome. Our weekday Masses will continue as we've been doing. On Monday and Wednesdays, we have a 6 p.m. Mass that you're all invited to. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, an 8.30 a.m. Mass where our Marquette School students will be joining us. The younger kids on Tuesday, the older kid on Thursdays, because we can't bring all of them into the church, we're splitting them in half so there's less people um, and uh, we'll keep them safe and healthy. So just keep that in mind. Confessions, sometimes people ask about confessions. Uh, confessions are scheduled on Saturdays at 3 p.m. and Mondays and Wednesdays at 5.15 p.m. Um, if you can't make one of those times, let me know. We can set up an appointment and we can always work that out as well. You're always welcome back to confession. If anybody's watching this, you've been away for a while, come on back. All right, one quick confession and you're back to that unity with the church and it's such a gift. I know there's fear and anxiety with that, but it's so beautiful, it's so freeing to hear those words, I absolve you, I forgive you of all your sins. Um, welcome home, it's a gift. Um, so please, uh, this fall, run to the confessional and run to God's mercy. Um, in regards to our recordings, I know people have been watching our recorded masses and all those sort of things. We've been talking at the staff and I've been praying about this and, and it takes some work and some effort to get that set up, to take it down, to put all that process together. So what we're going to be doing, at least this fall for right now, is Monday and Wednesday evening masses at 6 p.m. They'll be recorded. 
um, and then the Sunday 10 a.m. Mass, okay? So just those three Masses. I know for some that's kind of a bummer, but you can go back and watch them if you can't be at that, there at that time. But for right now, we're just gonna do those three. And if I get some more people that are involved and interested, we can open up those other Masses. But right now, this fall, we're gonna go Monday, Wednesday at six, and Sundays at 10 a.m. A uh, couple other final things. Uh, the search, all right? We're gonna be doing a seven-week study on life and faith and who is Jesus and who are we and why do we need a church and, and how do we pray and all these sorts of things. Um, that'll be at 7 p.m. on Monday night starting this Monday. We, I'm so grateful. We've got a number of people that have signed up. You need to register. Um, so call the parish office if you want to come to this program um, or sign up. There's a sign up at the back of the church. Um, you can do that as well. Or there's a sign up online. There's a lot of places for you to do that. This is for anybody. Maybe you're just, you're, you need a recharge in your faith. This is a great opportunity to do that, to take the seven-week course, all right? Maybe you just want some community. This is a great way to do that. Um, maybe you are just struggling with life. You're, you know, you don't have to be Catholic to come to this, all right? Maybe you're just looking for something and you don't even know what it is and your heart's just wondering. Show up, all right? Or maybe you're considering becoming Catholic. We've got a lot of people in our community, honest to goodness, that really want to become Catholic and are, are exploring that. This is the place to start. All right, to start getting into our, our community a little bit, learning a little bit, and then we'll move forward as we move towards Easter. And Easter is when the time when we welcome everybody to the Catholic Church and we baptize and we confirm and offer First Communion. But it all starts now, this Monday at 7 p.m. Um, again, the program's called The Search, and it's a seven-week series um, that starts at 7 p.m. There'll be an opportunity for some fellowship and some socialization. There'll be a, a, a video that we'll watch, and then we'll have some conversation and prayer. Um, so again, 7 p.m., all right, this Monday night at Holy Spirit Church, anybody's welcome, no matter their background, no matter their faith, no matter what town they're from, um, wherever you're at, you're welcome to join us Monday nights at 7 p.m. If you're coming, invite a friend. If you know somebody out there that's struggling or somebody that's interested in the Catholic faith, invite them to come along. Don't just tell them about it, come with them. All right, people wanna be accompanied. They want invitation. Remember I talked about that this weekend. Invitation is powerful. You are responsible, all right, to make that invitation to invite somebody to come and consider the gift of our faith and to come to know in a deeper way the life of Jesus and the gift of his church. Um, so again, 7 p.m., Monday nights, seven weeks. It starts this Monday. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, you can sign up online in the back of church or give the parish office a call. And then lastly, on the 27th of this month, we're gonna have an outdoor mass um, over at Alcott Park in the gazebo. Um, we've always done this. This will be, de this will be a little bit simpler um, because of the current COVID regulations. Um, but we invite anybody to join us for Mass at 11 a.m. in the park on the 27th of September. All right, we're going to have some food trucks there. Okay, we've talked to the city. This has all been okay. We're working through this. All right, so there'll be some food trucks there um, for some lunch afterwards. You just bring a luncher. You guys can all hang out in the park. We might have some live music or maybe some recorded music even that we'll play. Um, so Mass at 11 and then a little parish picnic. All right, food sponsored by the food trucks or you could bring your own little lunch for your family. That's not a problem. Have a little picnic in the, in the park um, with all of us um, together as a parish. So that'll be September 27th, okay? So there's some things for you to think about. Again, we're off to a good start here at Marquette School. Things are going well. Um, and we're looking forward to our parish starting to come to life again as well. Lastly, uh, there will be a newsletter coming out to all of our parishioners about our faith formation programs. All right, we've had to change things up a little bit. We're working on getting our volunteers together and retooling our program. Um, but I'm really excited about what Hannah and Ben have put together for us. There's a lot of good stuff that I'm really excited um, to see how God works through all of this. So we will have programming for our elementary students, for our middle school students, and our high school students. Um, we're not going to shut that down. They need it desperately. The longer they go without a faith component, the harder it will to be, bring them back. All right, so parents, make this a priority and give your kids the opportunity for faith formation this upcoming year. All right, have a great weekend. Um, I pray that God blesses you abundantly and uh, we hope to see many of you at Mass. Again, if you have questions or comments, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, call our office, um, or even make a comment here, okay? Um, God bless you. And uh, again, we'll try to do this every Thursday, just a quick little wrap up of how the week went and what's coming on in the days ahead. So God bless and uh, peace be with you all. St. John Bosco, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great weekend.